everyone, and welcome back to the um, 401 Regional Tournament here in Toronto, Ontario. I'm back with Alfredo. Hey, guys. Um, and so right now we have uh, Dan uh, playing Qui-Gon Yoda and Jonathan playing Boba Fett, Seven Sister. Um, these two did face off in um, the, our Swiss matches, and um, I believe that Jonathan won against Dan. So it's going to be an interesting match to see um, in the best of three who pulls this off. We do have about two hours, I believe. Yeah, two hours to play through this. So, um, yeah, let's get right to it and see what happens. So I think the, the roll-off was uh, won by Dan, and he opted to take the shields. Yeah, yeah, he did. Now, this matchup is interesting because uh, you really want to get rid of one of the big boys uh, in terms of, uh, you know, Boba Fett or Seven Sister. I would go for Seven Sister personally. Uh, and if I was Jonathan, I would go for Yoda. You gotta, gotta get rid of that consistency. Uh, we'll, we'll see what they do in the end. Absolutely. So an early unbreakable play removing the two melee from uh, Jonathan into a disrupt for a resource, so unfortunately uh, Dan cannot utilize that chance cube. Double disrupt on Yoda. Seven sisters going in. Whole lot of disrupts with no money on either side. For now, you can always discard and reroll. Uh, Yoda is doing that. So a special and a shield for Yoda, which will help Qui-Gon quite a bit. Hmm. All right, discard to reroll. Let's see what he gets. Uh, marginally, no, it's not. It's not what he wants to see for sure. No, a lot of resources. I mean, it does help with ramp to get ahead. And um, okay, so he's gonna take a shield in that resource. Okay. <clears throat> Do you think Daniel has any upgrades that he wants to play right now? Um, usually before. turn one. I mean, he always uh, you always want an upgrade turn one before you roll in the, oh, the Qui-Gon. Um, bait and switch, that's good. Bait and switch. Two damage into Qui-Gon, getting rid of those shields, which is uh, a really it's good important. play. Absolutely. There's the Shota upgrade, giving Qui-Gon shields whenever he goes in. Discord to reroll. And if anyone was watching the previous um, rounds, I mean, you can tell that Dan utilizes his chance cubes a lot to generate um, a huge amount of resources turn one to load up on upgrades. So um, Jonathan has stopped that pretty effectively by disrupting, which was a good call. You can see Jonathan is starting to focus on Qui-Gon, uh, which is it's an interesting strategy. We'll see if it works for him. He takes a resource. You just said it's exactly what they say on Dodgeball. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's good. Let's see, let's see if it pays. It's entertaining. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay. So claim from Jonathan, and uh, we're resetting fast first round. <clears throat> So not a whole lot of damage on the board. There was a lot of uh, dice mitigation, but that just means that there's less for next turn. Nice. That's a Vibro Knife. <clears throat> Vibro and Boba. And I learned today, Vibro Knife cannot... Uh, if you were sold Vibro Knife, you cannot use um, Force Illusion. No, absolutely not. Unblockable damage can't be blocked by um, really anything. Card effects, shields. The only thing that... I mean, kind of gets around the lethal on that is if you roll a, uh, or if you uh, get a second chance. Anything that'll heal, right? Yes. Yoda goes in, gets a... Oh, wow. Three three resources on that chance cube roll. That's a nice roll. <laughs> Not a roll. blank on the chance cube. That's pretty good. That's a really good roll on the chance cube. Seven sister. Whole lot of disrupts, but I don't think that um, not, that's what Not he what he wanted to see. No, of course not. A lot of blanks. And you're spent, if you spend the disrupts too, I mean, he's limiting his chances of rolling those melee, which he... Oh, smart. Yeah, oh, he so really he's, is. he's getting rid of the... Yeah. yeah, there you go. Less money for upgrades and removal, right? Yeah. <clears throat> it's amazing how with just two upgrades, I mean, obviously you're starting with five dice, but that's that deck has so many dice to start with. So seven is down to... She took three damage, down to seven. For solution, okay. 
So there's a failure anger in that deck as well. So if Dan rolls poorly on that Qui-Gon, he's going to lose a lot of dice. Oh, he's going Seems like there's a second Force Illusion and... Oh, he discarded a Force Illusion. Oh, interesting call. I mean, really, it, it's tough to justify... Uh, oh, nice roll. That is a solid roll. Two, four, six unblockable damage, and then an additional two. That's going to hurt. That'll go right through his shields, which actually, I mean... Technically, it's uh, it's painful to go through the shields, but for, for Qui-Gon, it's nice that I guess he can also keep those shields to use his ability. Good roll. Yeah. yeah. So we have two four damage, and then there's a two focus, so potential of... Um, and none of them have resources damage. to mitigate any dice. No. Right? Unless you have a zero-cost event, of course. Right. Does he have a he doesn't like you mm. in his deck? I, don't think so. I would imagine as a villain with yellow, he has a he, oh, he like has two you. of them actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah of for course. sure. Wow, six damage to Qui Gon. That's pretty good. That's that's yeah. really good. I guess in this matchup, if you do have a Viber knife, you go for Qui Gon first. For sure. Because he just bypasses the shield. Exactly. Um, but at least with him, he he could have the potential of eight damage showing with that two focus on Yoda. And if there's not much removal, um, that's gonna that's gonna be. Uh, Oh yeah, definitely Qui-Gon will retaliate, for sure, with that focus on Yoda. But it's a matter of who goes down first, because Seven Sister has a four solution, so... She does. Sometimes it's tough, especially with that unblockable damage, you want to sometimes change your tactic. Eight damage on an 11 damage character is really big. There we go. Okay. Interesting. Mm. Well, there's no modified side, so... He's gonna have to choose when to use the force solution. And there goes the shields. Uh, is he choosing to trigger? No. No, he's gonna keep it all. Okay. He's gonna go to nine. He's okay. gonna go down to one. <clears throat> That's an interesting choice because any shields on Qui Gon, um, any shields on Qui Gon go. is gonna. Took a shield, dealt the damage. Yeah, so now um, basically Qui Gon just has to roll in next turn and Seven Sisters dead. There's yeah, nothing he can do. That's, that's it's rough. just automatically ping him for the for the damage. That's a, that was that's pretty rough. That's rough because most of the melee damage is coming from the S Seven Sisters. That's right. And the Viper Knife is on Boba. Yeah. All right, Boba's. No, no, maybe not. <clears throat> Oh. Um, so Richard is asking, shouldn't Qui-Gon have seven damage now? So he took uh, six unblockable. I'm, I don't think he had any damage on him. He had before. one. He had one. He did have one. Yeah. So yeah, Qui-Gon should be at. Uh, he had one and then took five unblockable. Pardon me. He had one on him and then took another five unblockable. Yeah, five unblockable. It was only five unblockable, yeah, not it was. six. It was five. No, they, no, it was five. They had one from before. Yeah. So oh, okay, perfect. Six. I thought it was six unblockable. Uh, seven sister is down. Down for That's the count. Rough. Start of turn two. Um, so Richard, there was um, five unblockable damage that went through. Um, one of the judges went over to ask the players. So um, Jonathan said that there was five unblockable damage that went through, and uh, Qui Gon had one. So that's why we are at six right now. Feel your anger, smart. Now you got to mitigate and just do damage uh, with Boba as much as you. Thank can. you, Lee. <clears throat> oh, with the four focus. Uh, Gain a resource draw card. Okay. Well connected. Double focus on Yoda. That's interesting. So four focuses. So all of his dice are just... Yeah. Uh, so much for Blank City stacked. on Qui-Gon die. Yeah. Wow. That is, that's a lot of damage right there. Wow. Yeah, and he has a feel your anger in his hand too. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. <clears throat> All right. Oh, oh wow. And he got it. Well, yeah. It's pretty oh, good. it's John. Hey, John. John from Starkiller Base is tuning in. We have a celebrity on board. All right, now you now we're getting some more melee dice for uh, that uh, vibrant knife. Yeah. 
And it's modified too, which is great. Oh, blank on um, the Viber knife. That's not, blank on a Viber that's knife. That's not what yeah. you want to see. No, you'd like to see at least one solid and then, you know, the modified on the vibro and that you know because then you have six unblockable damage that would uh that yeah. would finish qui-gon oh, oh. <laughs> there you go the ancient lightsaber cycle continues it's doing work all so right he has that's pretty uh, good again it's just a discard he doesn't have anything oh mind trick Ooh, that's rough yeah yeah, John, we were actually talking about that um, because uh, even in the last game, you know, when you have um, Mother Talzin fixing dice and you have Yoda fixing dice, we saw that, you know, they were having to discard to reroll so many more times just to get any damage out. So definitely when you when you can get rid of that, plus on top of that, Yoda is just generating resources like no one's business. And consistency. And consistency. So, yeah, you just, um, I, I think this is the, the right call is to go after Yoda. And then Qui-Gon, with constantly getting shields and shields and shields, you're, you're ending up having to do, you know, two, three times the amount of damage to him to, to even get him down. Because Yoda is enabling Qui-Gon to consistently deal large amounts of damage. Absolutely. And that's why, the, you know, the Seven Sister is gone now. So exactly. You gotta deal with that guy. Yoda will go in. Exactly, yeah, because the same way that uh, Yoda does his focus, um, you know, Talzin is just automatically uh, getting those damages out. Another oh, Viber Knight with Ambush, nice. Roll so in Qui Gon might good. be dead if. Uh, okay. No other melee showing, just the modified two. That's not a very good roll. Okay, so we have a one disrupt uh, and a one resource and two blanks. Okay, he chooses to use the focus on Yoda to get a resource and fix the chance cube die. Dan has two of those mind tricks in his deck, so um, if he can get rid of the... Uh, that's better. That's a good roll. That's yeah. a really good roll. Yeah. Watch out for mind trick. Does he have so another one? I think he does. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, he does. There we of go. Of course. I knew it. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he loves that, um, that card. So that would, what I would do is I will separate the yellow and the gray so that he has a... Yeah, there you go, see? And I'll keep the shield with the one that's not unblockable. He's gonna... Uh, no. Yeah. I, I, uh, it's such a hard choice to make because if he gets rid of... keeps the vibros together, all the unblockable is gone, which doesn't matter right now because, honestly, there's no shields. So I would... Yeah, uh, that's what I would do as well. Interesting. I would have kept the... The, the blue dye with, with the, the Yeah, with the yellow. Yeah, but that's probably that. a better yeah. call, too. But Dan would have probably removed the other ones because the unblockable doesn't matter right now. Because he has no shields, right? But he might get them, though. He Especially might. with the two focus from Yoda. Yeah. So. But right now, he has three damage on this side unblockable or four damage on the other side. Right. So I think that... Uh, oh, no, because I think... Um, Okay, Can so Boba Fett choose any die or just damage dice? Any, any die, die, so he could have five. It could be yours too, so. Yeah. Yeah, so the Boba Fett is five total. All right, he's choosing to do four. Three. Uh, a one and then a oh, plus right, two, right, yeah, right. yeah. Seals up. Oh, another one. Woo. That's a really tough, tough, tough situation to be in because every activation of Qui-Gon is going to gain, uh, well, once he gets shields, is going to gain or deal two damage right off the top. Um, I don't know that there's any coming back from this right now. Boba Fett's already gone, and so I think Qui-Gon could finish him off on this turn with the amount of uh, melee and that two focus showing. Shouldn't Qui-Gon get um, shields or something? He is going to. It's oh. an after you roll, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he's got uh, two and three shields. And then he still has that two focus from Yoda. So this was a really um, strong head start for Dan. He just got out so much damage. Oh, Jonathan claimed, is not totally from out Jonathan. of... Oh, he did. So Dan has just free Ooh. reign. That means he has no dice control. No. At all. That's it? Yeah. That might be lethal. Uh, four. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, he just had too much of a head start quick right off the bat. Game. That was really quick. I mean, they only played nine cards. Yeah. It's just, that was really fast. It only took, what, uh, 16 minutes? Tops? Yeah, and yeah. I don't think they even started playing until maybe five or six minutes after. It was very we'll see fast if they make uh, what I like to call the halftime adjustments. Halftime adjustments. I mean, I, I really think he needs to just go after Yoda. Yeah, Yoda you do. is the all star in this deck. He's just all of those focuses that that four focus did eight damage, and then again the two focus and the and the um, the specials. They're just they're fixing his dice way too much. <clears throat> so he's choosing loser chooses battleful, so, so he, he chose, chose the other one, so. and then he gets the shield. <coughs> Excuse me. Because uh, uh, the seventh sister didn't last too long. She didn't. She I think does. turn she two, does. she was done. Uh, on the first activation of turn two, because he had the one yeah. Shoto out. Yeah, so it... Um, Which is mm -hmm. why it is important to know that he didn't trigger for solution uh, on that two or three damage. He chose to trigger on the one. So, yeah. I don't, you know... That's something I don't. To I don't too. know that he realized that, that that was going to happen, and that's again the the issue that I'm, I'm you know, saying that I see all the time with Qui Gon is those force illusions, especially when you're getting close to death. Is you get a force illusion on there, but you're taking once you know death by a thousand scratches. You're taking Rare. one hit, one hit, one hit, one hit. So it, it there's nothing you can do to really prevent it with a force illusion. You have to kind of use it for those big swings, and he took, I think, five damage that one turn. Not only that, but we have to consider that he doesn't have second chances in his deck, so... No, of course not. No. If Boba uh, dies, it's uh, there's no coming back for that guy. No, and... Um, do you want to pull up um, his yellow cards? How many of those require spot yellow? Sorry, on Jonathan's side? Yes, yeah. So, friends in low places, he doesn't like you. And uh, well connected. So, pretty six. much all his So, pretty much. Exactly. So, sometimes that's a good choice to go after, too. Um, you know, to get rid of that yellow character, because that's a huge amount of removal and consistency in the rolling when you can actually get rid of um, the function of all those cards. They're essentially just. Um, that uh, discard to rerolls, yeah. yeah. We haven't seen a Maul's lightsaber on this side either. That is a fantastic. I mean, he does only have one of them, but that is a fantastic All card right, here for we go our again. sister. Fiber knife into <clears throat> that's uh, what is that? Oh, that's a nice oh, roll. That's, that's four great. melee unblockable that's with a the one resource. That's a good start. Yoda going in with a force speed. Oh, look at the focus. Three focus That's, and a discard. Yeah. Seven Sisters going in. That's a oh, good roll. Oh, that's a lot of melee. There you go. And a focus. And so a that's focus. Uh, potentially eight damage. He's got six showing right now. Let's see who he targets. Because uh, he's showing, what, two, four, six damage six right damage. now. Six damage. That's more than half of Yoda's And there's health. no shield, so that's... Yeah, I would I would go after Yoda. There you go. Now go he's, after he's giving you... Exactly. Yeah, 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 Yoda. He's telling you who to go for, basically. Oh, he's oh, not. Wow. Okay, wow. that's interesting. That's interesting. That is interesting. Wow, I'm surprised by that. With six damage, that's... Well, he has the consider potential. with the Viber Knife, he can't use Force Solution, right? So no. No. maybe it was the right call. We'll see. Two. <clears throat> All right. Okay. And then, I mean, that's that's sort of what you want to do with Yoda is you want to gain those resources to and then the shields, play the yeah. and the shields and then play the you know play out a, a weapon and then roll in Qui Gon. Now you see how Yoda gained the two resources that enable him to play the ancient lightsaber absolutely which is gonna now heal him yeah uh, when he needs to right and we have a bunch of shields and some money too which I it, that's not a terrible role I mean he could do more damage but I think at this point you kind of want those shields for for Qui-Gon this is a two shield and a one shield the most on that reroll you're gonna get is you know a one a one, one or damage two. No, it doesn't. Uh, Ancient doesn't have a two damage side. It's one oh, okay. one and a plus three. 
So I don't think it was worth there for a reroll. The shields are much more important for Qui-Gon. Yeah, the um, heirloom has a one, two, three. Correct. That's yeah. All right. all right, three shields. <laughs> Seven sisters all loaded up. Yeah. Oh, a lightsaber pull for that. That's really good. Of course. He can't play it this turn, though. He'll have to wait till uh, till next round to reset. But see, and and that's a disadvantage too with lightsaber pull playing against something like Thrawn is that you pull that card and then you can discard it. So right, it neuters the, it, exactly. the efficiency of that. Yeah. So in um, earlier today, I was playing um, scruffy looking nerf herder, and it's the same thing. You know, they do a lightsaber pull into an Obi saber or something, and then play the card and then Ooh, remove it. Snake eyes. <clears throat> That's blank, not a very good roll, and then yeah. that's a discard. Yeah. It's not one you want to see on the vibro knife, that's for sure. Dan has three resources and a shoto, so he's gonna roll in right, Yoda. Yoda's going in. <clears throat> Try and get some speed and money. Actually, I think this is the first bad roll that Dan <laughs> yeah, has had it's, on Yoda. It's not that's a good really roll. Bad. You're right. You got to disrupt a shield and a discard on Yoda. Hey, we're playing the same game now. <laughs> Ancient lightsaber on that side. And only one damage showing on Boba Fett. Oh, wow. That's a much better roll. Yeah. So he's going to have five resources by the end of this and two actions. Um, oh, terrible roll. Not as good, yeah. That is a lot of blanks. So we have a discard, a disrupt, and a plus one melee with no other melee showing. The potential is there to do a lot of damage, but now, there's just he, nothing. He didn't. He didn't mitigate um, the specials, so I would have rolled in Qui Gon. Um, I I can't see what's in his hand, but typically he uh, from playing um, in Hamilton, he plays. Tries to get two Shotos out on, on Qui-Gon. So Before I think the rolling, money okay. is more important in this than whirling in Qui-Gon. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I, was, I would re-roll the All the things. Too, yeah. Two blanks. Wow. That is so bad. Look at all the resources. And one melee. I mean, he does have the one melee to for the mm. Vibro, but... I, I, I would discard to reroll or bait and switch something. Because you can always he bait does and have switch a bait and into switch. the two, right? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. And still get another action? Yeah, there we go. All trying right, to see Quagon what's in Jonathan's hand. I mean, he he could have Qui Gon this turn. To that's be why he need, he wanted the resources. Yeah. Look at that. But again, the enabler is Yoda. Mm -hmm. Interesting role. It's, uh, I think that's, that's lethal. Uh, yeah, he's four. And no resources to mitigate, like mind gains or anything like that. He does have two actions. I'm not sure if he has a guard in his hand or not. Can't see because he could take um, the two actions, roll in Qui Gon, and then guard dice away. Like get two shields. He also could one shot get a, get a bunch of shields. Two, three. Oh, he got the plus three and the two on the saber. Not enough to kill. Boba Fett, but he can take shields. Three and then an additional. What would you do six? here? Because that's not. Or is that, that five? Or I can't. I think it's five. What? Five damage. Yeah, he's doing four right there. Can take one. So now he says six, seven, eight. He needs three more. So I would probably reroll. Uh, seven sisters dies to so see if I can get more melee. Of course, and absolutely. And use with Viver knife. I'm not sure what card he has left in his hand though. Sometimes it's worth letting a character die if, if that other card is really no. Yeah, of course. And no melee. That was his last card, right? That was his last mm. disrupt. That's too bad. 
So we have two resources and a disrupt. Dan is a lucky man today. Oh yeah, disrupt. Claim for a shield rolls in, and so we're going to be at eight damage. He'll deal one, nine damage. I think Boba's a dead man. Yeah, he's going first. Well, if he rolls Yoda in first, I would definitely go in for a, an activate uh, Boba Fett. I don't think uh, if Dan. I don't think Dan's going to roll in. Uh, if he rolls in Yoda first, I think that's a bad call. He needs to kill Boba Fett. See? Oh wow. Yoda's going in. That's surprising. Wow. Well, well actually, he's going to get two actions, and he's going to get a bunch of shields. So that, that that might have been the right call. He just rolled really well. I mean, if you if he flopped that roll, that would have been game. I would mitigate his, that. I would try to mitigate that dice if he somehow. Can. He doesn't have... He has friends in low places. He can't. That's it. He does have a force illusion. I would slap that force illusion down. Try to keep... That's what I mean. Do you try and keep Boba alive at this point? Or do you put it or save it for Seventh Sister? Because Qui-Gon's going to die probably fairly soon. I don't know. I honest, I think I would keep it and uh, obviously roll in Boba Fett, but I think he's going to die before that, uh, before Jonathan actually gets to do anything with him. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. I think just put the pressure on, make sure that uh, your opponent kills him. Oh, no. Roll's not been good for Jonathan. All right, ping you for one. Ping you for one again. And then he rolls in and just kills him. And then he has two actions. Activate. And he dies. P yeah. That, wow. That's, that's rough. But what I mean is, had Dan not rolled that great on Yoda, that would have never happened. That was a risky move. And, and he's showing he's a good amount of damage. Two, three, he's a four, four damage. Four damage plus a resource. Yeah. Seven sister hasn't rolled in yet. She has the potential of doing two, four, five, now six, you have seven, to remember. eight, nine, ten damage total if he rolls like all those godly. yellow cards are shut down now. Exactly, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't use them anymore. So that friends in low places he can't use. Hey, we're playing the same game, the healing game. Yeah, she can heal, but she like the damage output on her. Now we're at three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen with just her dice. Yeah, <laughs> for solution comes down. Absolutely. Down. <clears throat> and we're in a new game, so Dan has not played any mind tricks yet. So not he yet, might but have, he's waiting he's got for two it. resources. Uh, he's got if it. If he has them. He might not. He might not. So we have a one and a three roll on the Ancient. The rest are shields, which are not great, but that uh, four damage is really nice. Hey, he's going for the Hail Marys. Oh, Very wow. nice. Very Six, nice. seven, eight damage. That's more than enough to kill Qui-Gon. Oh. I would just resolve that. That's, what, six, seven? Close quarters assault, good play. Smart. Discard his entire hand. So now Dan can actually save all that damage with the um, force illusion because he removed the other black die. It might be overkill, yeah. Um, and I mean, at this point, Qui-Gon really only needs those two to, uh, to really no, deal a lot of damage. Not, I would reroll and see discard? if I can. Seven, so. Oh, that's a lot of cards to mill. One, two, three. Oh, synchronicity. There's a lot of uh, good removal in that, and um, some cards you didn't need. I don't think you know, really need. Imagine if he had gone uh, gone for Yoda, he would have been dead by now. Of course. Yeah. Of course, yeah. It's important to realize that. Yeah. So we have a full health seven sister and a Qui Gon looking pretty sad. I think Qui Gon's okay. You think so? I don't think he's. He's, well, he's actually, been doing a lot of He's all so the work. resilient, especially yeah. like I said, like you were saying, you know, not going after Yoda. He's going to gain those two shields, ping off the damage, and then roll in, gain extra shields. The shield generation is just crazy, and there's no vibro left, so he can block all of it. 
There you go, Yoda going in. Uh, four speed, two disrupt. Not a good roll for Dan. Four speed is all right. Four speed Still gives right. you the two actions. Yeah. Lose the shield. What do we get? Uh, nothing? Is well, that he nothing? has focus, so... Oh, he does have... He has a one focus, yeah. So he could do maximum three right now, which is not enough to kill Qui-Gon. No, he needs four. Yeah. And I see two mind tricks, maybe, in his No, he Daniel's discarded hand. one. Okay. So he might... He for, I think he for sure has one in his hand, though. Yeah, I think I see one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, it's your friend, the lights, ancient lights here. And Yoda will have um, the redeploy on him again, so it's not like he's dead in the water, but it's definitely yeah. an uphill battle. Well, this game is far from over so far. Anything yeah. could happen if he rolls really, really well. Good roll. Uh, that's uh, only three, but uh, focus stayed there, so that's what can, now five. You take what you can get. Five damage. That's, that's enough to. At least, it's, kill at least him. it's not blanks, you know. No, no. Yeah. So if Dan does heal here, he can survive. Well, he doesn't need to heal here. He could probably roll in, yeah, Qui-Gon first, gain a shield. Gain a shield, yep. And then um, <clears throat> he'll have to focus into that damage. Mm, what do we got? That's, that's a uh, lot of melee. That's pretty good. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. Yeah, good Smart, move. smart. Still five or four damage, but I mean, that was a really good roll for Dan. Now I would grab that blank and the two Yoda dice, and I would just re-roll, or not? No, heal. Okay. Well, you remove the die, so it's useless right now, right? I always think he heals a little early, but it seems to always work out for him because you really yeah. have no idea what your opponent's going to do, right? There now, it is. But now here comes the mind trick. Oh, oh, that's right. He does have mind yeah. trick. Yeah, <gasps> see, he's waiting. He waits. That's smart. It's smart. It's smart. It's smart. It's all, I always feel so salty when he does that. <laughs> Why? It's a smart play. Really, he's going to... No, I... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Make it painful for him to choose. Yep. That's smart. It's three damage or... I would I mean, resolve. It could, it could turn into five damage, but... Do you really want to risk? force illusion? Yeah. Oh, yeah, three. I would have done the same thing. Now both mind tricks are gone, so that's both a good sign. I would re-roll if I was Daniel, see if I can get some more damage. And and those Yoda dice, because they're doing nothing for him, so right if now. he gets anything on the Yoda, it's going to be more damage. Nothing, um, nothing. He gets the same disrupt on one of them. Same so disrupt that's, that's and then funny. a shield. Shield is is fine, but... In this type of deck, shield is damage. So. <laughs> Alright, oh. let's try that again. Mm, much better. That's better. Yeah. For sure. That's two, four, six melee damage. All Lost right. Him. I mean, some dice control. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah. Saved him an extra two damage. <laughs> now, does he want resources or he want shields? He's gonna take a resource. All right. He's still deciding. All right, just gonna get a resource and a shield. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Deal four damage and then gain a shield. That's a solid choice. I mean. Yeah, I would play. Of course. That's smart. Yeah. And then one more with the shield. And right now, the Seven Sisters is set up with a Force Illusion and the Ancient Lightsaber. 
Um, even though Dan does have his other character, he's just set up a little bit better. Another sh See, now he's going to do the double. This is what I mean. So that Force Illusion is now only ever going to be able to effectively block. Once they get towards death, it's one damage each. That's right. So you have to save it for those big swings, but... But Yoda, Yoda will make sure. Yeah, Yoda will make sure that you know things get consistent. Yeah, he's got another close quarter soul vibro knife. A oh, vibro knife. That's not. That's that's pretty. That's solid. He has nowhere to put it right now, though. I think you want the Shoto to keep the shields. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that. Man, he is not rolling well at all. At all. At all. Yeah, he's gonna have to discard to reroll that because that's not For that's sure. not what you want to see. No. All right, Qui Gon. Shield and a damage. What is Qui Gon going to show us? Um, hmm. Well, there is that plus three, I think, on the Shota lightsaber. So if uh, Yoda rolls in some specials, he can fix that die and. Uh, do a lot yeah, of damage. Still nothing. Well, oh, marginally one more, better. One more damage. Yeah, marginally better. That's tough. Ooh. Oh, Dan's deck is milled. Is it? He has nothing in his... Uh... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Did he win on the mill? Oh, no, two. And then he has a discard showing on that... Um... Two lightsabers? One of them. Okay. So you know he still has one more. But he has another discard showing here on the uh, That's joint. only one, right? Right. No. But if he gets the... Well, Yoda doesn't care about discards because he just uh, focuses die all day long. If he gets it. No, oh, he got I mean, He, he, got, got, focus, he yeah. got one, yeah. <clears throat> <coughs> no removal, so just weapons. This is a tough. Oh, he's rerolling the droid. Tough. I would go for the mill at this point. This is tough. That was a really bad reroll, so three damage. Still just not pumping out the damage he needs. This is, uh, this is a rough spot to See, be. See, this is the question. Like, he has. So he's going to deal one damage, two damage, three damage. He could pitch and then heal two, so that's going to be... He's going to save that. And then when you, order, you can focus uh, <clears throat> the Shoto to a black melee, like he's doing right now. Exactly. Oh, he's taking... Okay. And then... I, I would fix the, the Shoto <clears throat> die. Yep, six, seven, eight. One, 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 one. Yep, that's that's lethal. Two, yeah. If, if uh, yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, with the <coughs> Force Solution, it would still do a lot of damage. Good job. Well Good job. done, guys! So, Dan is our regional winner for Toronto. So, um, with that regional win, he earns himself a seat at Worlds and a bye at our Nationals taking place next week right. in Toronto at Breakout.